there's a lot that comes in this business. Do you ever, you ever had mentors? You ever had mentors? Uh, George, uh, uh, Gordon Pinsent, okay. actually, who's a relative of mine, yeah. is a great mentor. Well, then, uh, we've got a question for you over here. Oh. Hello, Laura. It's me, Gordon. I won't take up much of your time with George. Hello, George. Uh, I was thinking, when I heard you were in town, I was thinking about a time when a small girl wrote me a letter telling me that she intended to enter the acting field. I wanted to know all about it. Asked me if I had advice, and if I did have advice, it was probably don't ever lose your true self. Always find your way home. And I was thinking, having a pretty good idea of how life goes in the sometimes unreal world that is Hollywood, I was wondering, now that you've moved there, how, uh, how you've handled that, of returning to the reality that was and is Laura Vandervoort. Wow. Thank you. I haven't seen him in way too long. He's um, a beauty, isn't he? He's, he's one of the most sincere, genuine, beautiful men I've ever met in my entire life. What about his question? How, how, have, you, yeah, <laughs> how have you handled it? I just want to avoid that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still handling it. I mean, moving to L.A. in this industry is, you know, as we were talking about earlier, L.A. can be a very lonely place. Um, and uh, they want me to get rid of my accent. We have an accent. Don't know if you guys know, but they want me to get rid of it. Um, Which is not unreasonable if you're playing an American. Of course, yeah. of course. But I mean, come it's on. harder than you think, though. Isn't it, it is. It is. I just did a movie called Ted, and um, Seth MacFarlane was the director, and he's got a very keen ear, and uh, he he was very conscious of my Canadian accent. Cut. So. You said oot. Yep. Oot, boot, boot <laughs> around.